What's the deal, YouTube? What's the deal, PlayStation Nation? It's your boy, Meet Your Battle. Coming to you early this Thursday morning <clears throat> with a video. I couldn't really sleep last night. My, my neighbor's alarm was going off like all night, and he's halfway deaf, so he couldn't hear it. But unfortunately, I could. So I've been up like all morning. And uh, thanks to a person who was on my YouTube video, uh, dropped me some comments, helped me pass the time. Shout out to you. I'm not going to mention who you were. But I appreciate it because I couldn't sleep anyway. Uh, we got to engaging in some back and forth over some, some stuff over the PS4 and Xbox One. And it made me wonder this, this question. Um, it's 2016, right? Why are we stuck in these last year or, or prehistoric ways of thinking about these next gen consoles <clears throat> and this is nothing against uh, his conversation his conversation is just sparking conversation so just in case he watches this and he thinks this is about him it's not about him it's just conversation <clears throat> but yeah first off the console war is over if you can't understand why the console war is over then you just can't understand it's over. The only thing the Xbox One can do is is try to right its wrongs and do right by the people that's bought the console. And maybe, just maybe, some more people will flock over. But to to catch up and to, to gain ground and the PlayStation would have to break. I'm not wishing that on PlayStation, but fundamentally the PlayStation would have to break. Flip side of that. Again, it's 2016. On my previous videos, I said this thing where I want the community, the gaming community, to think for themselves. To be individuals and to, to not just latch on to stuff that other people say just because other people say it and it sounds cool. Justin Bieber does not belong in a conversation about consoles. If you tell me, for example, that people are only buying the PS4 because it's the cool choice, and I respect that opinion, people only buy PS4 because it's a cool choice, right? That's what you want to say, fine. What makes it the cool choice? If your answer to what makes the PS4 the cool choice is what makes Justin Bieber a successful artist <laughs> or something like that if you reference Justin Bieber in response to that question you shouldn't be asking that question for you to even say that the PS4 is the cool choice and that's the only reason people are buying it you yourself should have reasons for thinking so don't just come on 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 one of my videos telling me some stuff that you can't support right there you have answered a question that you can't support is it the cool choice or is it the better choice that's what you have to ask yourself my friend clearly the PS4 is the better choice people aren't just buying a PS4 because it's cool it's not like it comes in different colors. Like, oh, hey, look, you can get a blue PS4. Look, look, you can get a blue PS4. It makes noises when you push the button. Look, it makes car noises. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, PS4 does that. Yay. No, it doesn't. The only thing you get is certain limited edition skins or designs on the, the console. That's it. PS4 is not for the jump through hoops for you. It's not for the making no special sounds. None of that. Nope. It's it's going to be itself. It doesn't have to do anything else. It doesn't have to try to appeal to people. It doesn't have to come in a solid blue color. You get the white PS4 just like you get the white Xbox One. But outside of that, you don't need anything. You don't need the 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 Halo colored Xbox One that uh PS4 that that makes sounds. You don't need that. Uh, some of them have. Certain themes, like the Type-0 was burgundy, 
to match the, the game console. Yeah, that that was. But where was that also only available? In Japan. If you're going through the hoops to get one of those, congratulations. Shout out to the boy Sarge0079. He bought one for his wife. But it's not a requirement to get a PS4. What different color PS4s do they have in Europe? Because they damn sure selling like hotcakes over there. You don't need all of that, that extra stuff to be the cool console to sell. But, there you go. It's being the cool console. Hey, look. With the Xbox One, it's linked to Windows 10. Okay. It has the Windows 10 UI. Look at that. That's cool, right? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. You can barely get the system to work right. But, yeah. And for the record, just in case anybody else wants to compare it to Justin Bieber, keep in mind that Justin Bieber was a child star. And anything that kids do get an amazing amount of support from, from the masses. Sit back and think back in time. Look at the majority of these performers that we've had that started off as kids. They were successful their whole time as kids. They grow up, they get crazy. But as kids, they are on top of their game. So if you want to match the PS4 to Justin Bieber, you can compare that to a young Justin Bieber all day. I'll take it. You want to ask, uh, what did he ask? He asked, uh, why did they support him more than, uh, more than they supported Chris Brown, something like that? <clears throat> you gonna make me get my phone and actually go see. But yeah, he references Justin Bieber to Chris Brown. And I'm like, we're talking consoles. Who cares about Justin Bieber and Chris Brown? But on a side note, they were both child stars. They were unique. They offered something that people thought was a rare talent. Everybody wasn't singing like Bieber was when he was little. Everybody wasn't doing what Chris Brown brought to the table when he was little. They were both unique child stars. Just like the, when the Jackson 5 was getting started, Michael was the unique one out the group. And what happened to Michael Jackson? Blew up. People love New Edition. Why? Ernie Reyes Jr. Everybody remember little Ernie? From The Last Dragon? You remember him, Surf Ninjas? Remember that guy? He was Donatello in Ninja Turtles? Remember that guy? Yeah. Everybody loved you when you're young. You get older, not so much. But comparing the PS4 to something that's successful might not be what you want to do. And again, Justin Bieber might be batshit crazy right now. But the man was damn successful as a kid. If you want to compare the PS4 to Justin Bieber's success, that's a loss for you, buddy. <clears throat> anyway. You have... The updates and the features of the Xbox One. And it's amazing that everything that's coming out for the Xbox One is getting it closer and closer and closer to a PS4. And the Xbox One is losing its individuality. And I know you can say stuff like music streaming's coming later. Okay. Fine, music streaming coming later. And you can say that, oh, well, we're just biting that off of last gen. But it was like a last gen standard. Right? To stream music. That was one of your, your your perks of the Xbox. You could play music while you played games, right? If you could bring something from last gen to this gen, wouldn't that be something that you would bring? When you brought it, you'd have to snap. And if people know that UI, when you start to snapping, it starts to crapping. The game DVR don't work like it used to. It, it, it bogs down when you start uh, streaming YouTube videos. Or you try to get music playing in the background. The upload studio is broken. The game DVR is iffy. 
and you have the nerve to wonder why people are flocking to the PS4? The game system can't do the basic stuff the game system was designed to do. Forget playing games because you're getting the worst version of the games for the same price. Why is it hard to understand that the PlayStation is winning? And then the PlayStation has features you can't get on the Xbox One. Apparently, music streaming in the background while you're playing. Not with the screen snapped. In the background. And no, you don't have to pay for Spotify. You can, but Spotify is free. It's free. But even outside of that. When was the last time Upload Studio had a significant upgrade? That's, this is the, the generation of sharing. People want to share the gameplay, share their videos. The majority of people can't put gameplay up because it doesn't work. And those people that do, they fight and they fight and they fight with this system to get that gameplay to work. I can't record voice. I used to open a, the, the YouTube app and YouTube was shutting my Xbox off completely. YouTube works now, but I can't record my voice at all. It went from making my system freeze to it just doesn't recognize my mic is on in Upload Studio. Good job, Upload Studio. Other people share the same problems. But you don't have these problems with the share factory. Outside of that, you're constantly getting themes and updates with the share factory. They keep the share factory moving. But hey, if you want to hold Upload Studio as a, as a, as a perk... You got you to gotta take Upload Studio for what it is. It doesn't work. The PS4 is the system people want to play their games on. Forget it being cool. It's where they want to game. Look at the most popular games. See where people are buying those. I don't care if the top 10 list of games that came out for PlayStation. There's one, only one exclusive on there. Good job for that exclusive. Because the majority of people on PlayStation probably didn't want to play that game. The majority of people on PlayStation probably want to play Multiplex. I guarantee you there's more people on PlayStation that want to play Call of Duty than Bloodborne. There's more people that want to play GTA 5 than Bloodborne. There's more people that wanted to play FIFA 16 and 15 than Bloodborne. So before you knock that list of top 10s, understand that people want to play the multiplats just as much, if not more, than they want to play the exclusives. Now go look at how these games sell. And don't tell me, well, the, the install base is, is higher, so of course it sells more. I don't want to hear that. What I want to hear you say is, <laughs> people who want to play these games want to play these games in the best environment possible for them to play this game. And they play that on the better console. And that's all there is to it. The PS4 is the better console. And don't even get me started on SharePlay. <clears throat> SharePlay is a feature so good PC wanted it. NVIDIA had to make their own version of SharePlay because it was too good of a feature to, to pass up on. So while you're going out there getting your Windows 10 on, hoping for DX12 to drop, PlayStation is, is making innovations and moving forward. <clears throat> Who's the next-gen console that's not getting along with the VR? Game is going forward. The Xbox One is staggering. It's staying still. So this is, a, this is my quick video. I'm sorry that it lasted so long. But yeah... Console Wars been done. And if you have to ask yourself why, you hadn't been paying attention. This is your boy Meet Your Battle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you disagree, tell me why you disagree. We can have this conversation in the chat. And uh, you people have a nice day. <laughs>